today's vocabulary word is grief. I don't usually like to dwell on things that are so negative as a little word like that, but um, recently, yesterday, in fact, two of my teammates at work had tragic losses in their homes, in-law relations, just deaths that, that cause a rip in the fabric of a family. And so I thought it would be appropriate to discuss for a moment the the way a cowboy reacts to grief. We know what grief means. It's uh, uh, the way one of the dictionary programs uh, that I use on my phone says it. It's a keen mental suffering or distress over affliction or loss, sharp sorrow, painful regret. Obviously, grief is is something that everybody goes through different ways. I don't mean to bring anybody down, but it's, it's, it's what's happening to so many around us. So what is the good cowboy response to that? Well, the first thing I want to do is just tell you some of the cow bees, how you need to be around this sort of thing. First of all, you need to be able to suffer right alongside with those who are grieving around you. This is... Uh, Go ahead. It's an opportunity to go ahead and feel with them. Feel their pain, as I do. This is a time for a cowboy to use his shoulders, to offer them in support, whether somebody needs to cry on one or just needs to be propped up. That's why cowboys are made with broad shoulders, so they can help out in this, in this manner. It's not a time to be the strong, silent type. It's time to offer your condolences, to verbalize what you feel as you see somebody else going through the grieving process. Then it's time for the strong silent time to be quiet, be with them, be a listening ear. Let people grieve to you. Let them express what they need to get out. And and don't put a limit on that. Everybody grieves at his own pace. Everyone grieves and makes progress. It's three steps forward and two steps back, oftentimes. So do that. Use your voice to offer your condolences and to be certain that the individuals you care so much about who are going through such difficult times know that they're open and they have a safe place in order to be able to talk to somebody to get out what what is bothering them that sharp sorrow that's residing inside them at this time you also want to be present don't ghost don't disappear be there even when world words fail one it's time to be there and be supportive as one goes through a grieving process. And finally, you want to make certain that you are sympathetic. So be sympathetic. Of course, be erudite. 